Well, hello, Gemini or Chinese. Your horse says, beautiful, beautiful air. This one's for you. I'm going to intuitively pick up what we're going to be talking about today in the sense of where is spirit trying to guide us in what direction type of feeling. So the immediate thing I'm getting is paying close, closely um, attention to detail. So making sure like every single thing is being picked up on in that sense, right? Sometimes we got to make sure that we're not paying too close attention because we'll pick up too many details and we get confused. But I feel like right now, Spirit really wants you to make sure you're paying very closely attention to all the details of something. I am seeing the color yellow. So the solar plexus chakra energy, the firepower energy within you, that willpower, desire, purpose energy is kind of really trying to relight or reflame or, you know, re-spark type of feeling here. It has a lot to do with your confidence, your self-esteem, the things that actually bring you the ability to be fearless. I feel like some of you guys have been having some kind of knee pain. If you don't have this and this isn't resonating in that sense, just make sure it goes in one ear and out the other, but it doesn't mean that all these messages wouldn't be for you. But these are a few things that I'm picking up before we get started with tarot. If you guys have been feeling some knee pain, <clears throat> I feel like you could do some knee like movement exercises, but you have to make sure you're like laying down maybe on a bed or on the floor or whatever, on a mat pad or something. But making sure you're kind of like putting your legs up and kind of like rotating them down and then rotating them up in a sense like not too hard and not too like where you're doing it too fast. It's nice and slow and gentle and easy, just kind of relieving the tension from the knee. I'm picking up the letter N. That letter N is coming. I'm getting like Nicole as the name. Nicholas, Nikolai. Something about near there, almost there, near, near there. I don't know if it's something like, oh, I know where that is. That's over near there type of thing. I don't know if it's like you could be potentially talking to somebody and they're trying to meet up with you and you're like, well, where do you want to meet? And they're like, it's at this place. And you're like, well, like, where, where's that place? And they're like, it's over near there. And they specifically say a place. And you're like, oh. You could be hearing strange noises. I don't know if that was just a sign for me to just pick it up in a sense as I was just waiting for something else to kind of come through. And I don't ever hear that noise, so it's crazy. But it was like this one core above my head that just made like a poppy noise. What the heck? And it's not been on all day. Anyway, okay. Let's get started. Let's see what's going on. Anything else I'm feeling today for you before we totally get into it? I got the word undisturbed. Like you're living to be undisturbed. By people's opinions or by people's, you know, wrong answers pretty much, right, Gemini? Wrong. I'm getting like wrong. Almost like in the sense you may not say it out loud, but you definitely say it loud enough spiritually that they hear you. And it's almost crazy because I'm getting this like situation in my head now where you're like st you're standing around some people and you're not really happy to be around these people. I can tell the energy of you. You're not necessarily like unhappy because you're not going to let them disturb you, but you don't want to be around them. So there's something like they're going to say something to you and you're just going to look at them and like the immediate answer in your head is wrong. <laughs> Walk away. And they're going to hear that. They're going to like, wait, what? It's going to stop them in their tracks because they're going to hear like wrong in their head and it's going to be that strong. Okay. Strength king of pentacles in reversal wrong <laughs> those people that are irresponsible those people that try to tell you how to do things how to live life when they've never even made a, an ounce of success happen in theirs you know what i'm saying there's something that's really wrong with this picture there's something really wrong with this picture okay okay that one's actually really picking up to me there's something really wrong with this picture wrong 
uh, your reality, not my reality, is what I also am hearing, okay? So definitely something here, you're telling someone, it could be a father, it could be a masculine energy, somebody who's older than you could potentially be, right? But they're just like super egotistical, it's almost like you know this, and you're like, you maybe have reflected upon this person within this energy of having a relationship, whatever kind of relationship it may be, and there's some things that you've realized in this person that were a reflection inside you, and there's some of the things that you've already healed, and you're like, I don't need you anymore, it's ridiculous. You've actually worked out of a lot of ego, and so did I, because it's there was a lot of things I looked up to you because of or whatever this reason was or there was a reason I wanted to people please you and like I had to be in that sense of ego too but now it's like you realize some things you're like I don't want to be liked by you you're like one of the wrong people to be liked by I don't want to you know maybe even the people that hang around there's just like no respect in this situation I mean they may try to act like all high class but behind closed doors it's not that you know that and it's like maybe you've been in that situation with them and it's just something that you're just like I need I need to go like time to go have you ever, you know, the Pirates of the Caribbean movie uh, on the second one where it's the Stranger Tides one? And he he's literally, it's um, Orlando Bloom and uh, mm, mm, why can I think? Uh, anyway, he's they're on the beach and they're trying to get the Black Pearl off of the beach and all of the um, warrior people, the village people are like running to chase Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow. And William is sitting there like looking at Jack, like, oh, finally he's there. But then he sees all the other villagers running after him. And he's like, time to go. That's the feeling. Like, you're like, oh, wait, no, yeah, we gotta get, we gotta go. We gotta skedat. Like, uh -huh. Um, maybe because you realize it's a draining sensation and it's not something you want to waste your energy upon anymore, you know? So you're just trying to be strong in the situation, Gemini, whatever it may be. Also, Leo's energy and Aries and Taurus. Well, guess what? We're in Leo season during Chinese or Dragon. This could be a Taurus you're dealing with, okay? Or Chinese or Snake because it kind of points in the energy of where we're at right now. <clears throat> Some of you guys could definitely have a lion as a spirit team or a spirit animal, okay? Like a spirit team member because they are our spirit animals are a part of our spirit team um so even like mine is his he's a white wolf and i'm talked about him a few times but either way i don't know who's heard it and who hasn't at this point because we've, we've done so many videos but you know and i really appreciate him he does a lot to protect anything and almost like when you feel really insecure about something like if you have children like i do and they go somewhere like your spirit animal can go with them like if you want them to you know they'll go protect your children for you and it really makes me feel so much more secure and safe that i know that my spirit animal will do these things you know and just knowing that we're actually connected enough to know that they would do that you know and just like having the feeling and the sensation of realizing that they are doing it <clears throat> so there's something about you really connecting to your spirit animal too at this time okay there's been some oh i got it you're some of your behaviors and traits have really displayed that whatever your spirit animal have been so if i got mine's a wolf and then this is what i'm trying to explain to you there's like loyalty obviously pathfinder energy um the ability to be wise and kind of a lone wolf too because i am kind of a lone wolf my my spirit animal is kind of a lone wolf too but either way you know there's just like the feeling of you becoming in that sense of the personality traits of that animal so if it's an eagle you're becoming more observant you're becoming more you know um open with your perspectives and you're seeing from a different different sight from a different way than before so not just openness to perspectives but seeing things differently um if it was like if it was like a snow leopard or something you know that they they're very closely connected to their intuition but they realize that their intuition has to be solely based off something in the fact of what they're doing in this physical realm so to do acts of dutifulness in a sense to take care of self right that's the way that they know that they can serve their spiritual well-being so therefore this is a sense you would be taking on that type of personality that kind of thing if you are like a lion spirit animal you know lions are the, the majesties of the, of the entire animal kingdom and they are the king right <clears throat> so you would be embodying like king or queenly energy you would be embodying that courage and that strength um the ability for you to be more lionly more kingly and more it kind of a sense of like sunlight right the sun energy leo energy more vital vita vitality <laughs> more vital yeah more vitality 
more rejuvenation, you know, feeling really good when you're in the sun, just really feeling like you're able to bask in it, whatever it may be. But that's just a sense like whatever the animal of your spirit animal is, you're definitely engaging in a lot of the personality traits. And that could be because they are trying to help you get through some of these scenarios of your life right now too, okay? And helping you embody the strength. As I say that, all with the sun on the bottom of the deck, can't even realize that. But yes, it's beautiful. It could be a horse, it could be a unicorn, it could be whatever it may be. But there's something here. Even horses are about friendship. And you guys know Gemini is a Chinese, your horse. So it could be likely that you have a um, spirit animal that's a horse, you know? And horses are amazing. I mean, would you imagine yourself actually? This is what I got in my head. So I'm just going to tell you why we don't. I don't see why not at this point. Um, so if you were to imagine yourself getting into your subconscious energy or even your un unconsciousness, right? And just kind of really tapping into the consciousness altogether with everything connected. And you're allowing your own spiritual energy to take a ride on that horse. Take a ride on that lion. Take a ride on that tiger. You know, I used to dream about that all the time back in the day when I was a little kid. And since I was in like, elementary school it's probably like fourth or fifth grade but i definitely used to think about that it used to be riding around before they even came out with twilight and whatnot and they had the big wolves and you could ride those okay before that happened i used to think of that and imagine that like riding around on a tiger because the tiger was my very favorite animal of all of all of all okay i love tigers i love white tigers specifically but anyways i used to imagine myself riding around with a white tiger all the time all the time but you know that's just something that like your imagination can take you into a wild place and help you to really just explore deeper and really have a great time and really enjoy life and give you a sense of what really is on the other side so it's not so scary on that side anymore you know it's actually something you could definitely look forward to having one time or more yeah y'all are dealing with some negative 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 <laughs> negative energy I'm sorry. King of Swords is a no reversal, but it definitely makes you feel like you're dealing with people who are petty, people who are aggressive, people who are manipulative. These people are also very rational, especially because it's like they only see one way. The one way they see is their reality. Great for you. That's cool. Your reality fits you. Woohoo. That's wonderful. Guess what? It doesn't fit me, though. That's not my reality. Okay. The King of Swords is on. They're very, like, controlling and they're greedy and they they also become very egotistical for one but they also are in like that sense that they they're losing their head they're losing their mind they're like out of control you know what i mean like they don't know how to maintain control they don't know how to center themselves they don't know how to maintain composure type of feeling so they kind of are very aggressive in the sense and they they don't really know how to when you get in an argument with this person there's like no way of coming back from it you know what i mean like you can actually go to some people and be like yo i'm sorry you know that we fought or whatever and i'm sorry that i said that and i'm sorry that you know this had to be like this or that there, there was this must misunderstanding no not with this king of swords not with this person no you can't even be like yo i feel good to say sorry now like hey no they won't even listen to you okay so that's frustrating knight of swords in the reverse i'm missing out on opportunities and chances very much so negatively impacting you okay <clears throat> that's what i'm saying that negativity ne negatively negativity seven of wands you're definitely protecting and defending your purpose your beliefs your reality okay so you got double leo's energy aquarius is the opposite sign of leo so there's that challenge right but it's like you're doubling over that challenge because you got double leo of one aquarius so therefore it's like i'm doubling over you i'm gonna make sure you realize where your place is okay because you are you're fighting back you can you're definitely trying to maintain your stamina and maybe even build on it a little bit but these people are trying to make you fold on your beliefs these people are trying to make you give up on your dreams and that's just not gonna that's not gonna fly it's not gonna fly they're wrong <laughs> wrong and wrong again they're trying to make make obstacles right they're trying to keep you in a sense of lacking ambition you're trying to do shadow work on all the things that had already been projected onto you that you've already been trying to heal right so you're already trying to make maintain that do the shadow work of it and make a man, brand new beginning manifesting a new beginning a new financially secure beginning just a sense of a new peaceful stability type of beginning right eight of wands momentum strong fast swift momentum 
like if you were to think of a river almost like kind of there's a lake here but if i were to think of a river and that's kind of in my mind right now we have a river kind of going at a slow little motion so you know it's like nice calm water but then it gets to a point where all of a sudden the slope in the the, the land happens and there's some rocks and whatnot right it starts to kind of pick up pace and the rapids and whatnot yeah the swiftness is picking up kind of feeling with this eight of wands and it's a sagittarius energy so guess what that means because it's your opposite sign it means that this challenge is being overcome and that means beautiful things are happening you could be traveling of course too with the eight of wands here you could be going overseas for some of you you could just be going to a really beautiful place that you haven't been to for quite some time is something i'm hearing it's also something maybe you guys have been wanting to um, just explore new places in general. So this could be a brand new place that you've been had, like you've had on your mind for quite some time. I love how I see all the wands energy because it's like the way that the way that you were defending yourself, you kind of took all these wands and guess what? You are utilizing those wands as the power to get you to new places. <laughs> so I, I just feel like that's very intriguing in a lot of ways. Seven to eight something about making a step forward people really made you change your plans on who you were going to talk to because they were all acting fake okay knight of cups in the reverse aquarius energy again because that means something to do with that king of swords in the reverse the sun you're like i'm i choose to be happy anyway and that's why you do not want to be around people you just kind of like hey this isn't my vibe this isn't my energy this isn't how i treat people this isn't like how i want to treat people this isn't how i want to like i don't even want to be if you were to respect someone, I've watched this reel before, it's like if you respect somebody, you want to bring someone around that person you respect if you didn't respect them. Because you wouldn't want the person you respect to look at you differently because that's the person you're choosing to be around. So therefore, you're really minimalizing specifics in your life when it comes to specific people, maybe environments, whatever because you're like i need to find the right alignment not the people that are trying to make me this or make me that or mold me into what they want me to be you know you got to be strong at this time changing plans is important <clears throat> stop missing out on opportunities because of all of the aggressiveness five of swords is kind of flipping in a sense of like going towards being in the reverse but i feel like because of all that nonsense and all that and, and like the energy of you having to do the shadow work means you had to heal some sabotaging ways <clears throat> and so this energy is like a peaceful resolution and that's what you've done to make solutions happen from stopping the ability for you like no longer missing out on opportunities and chances so that you have more of the ability to choose what you do miss out on instead okay leo and virgo's energy maybe during leo and virgo season something about the full moon in aquarius is very specific so august 19th you do have numbers eight <laughs> twice in the seven and a five the ten of swords is ending here it's a dead end and you know it gemini's energy ace of pentacles it's time for you to just really focus on the things you've been manifesting because it is coming it's the new beginning it is unfolding for you the chariot came in the upright yep taking action away from this individual energy overcoming the obstacles when it comes to this new beginning it landed right on top of these two so the more you stand up for yourself, the more you're actually overcoming the obstacles and the more you're showing and proving to the universe and to the spiritual team of yourself that it is what you want. It is what you are, will go after and that nothing's going to stop you, that you're determined. And then they're going to do everything they can in their power to also keep you going in that flow. Okay, this has to happen after an ending. Two of Wands, finally going after what you most wanted and desired and like really been debating about and thinking about and contemplating about because there's been something you've been anticipating about doing and you've been whether you've been really wanting to do it so you're whether you're going to stay behind or leave something behind i definitely see you leaving something behind because it came right under the eight of wands so it has something to do with traveling it has something to do with going overseas it has something to do with just totally moving a job or moving a house or moving whatever it may be you're finally on the mission to get away because it's a two path decision and you're taking the action you're very ambitious with the chariot right next to that so with whatever this new beginning brings you you're just going to be like very excited and thrilled to do it because you've kind of been in a situation where you lack the contentment and you kind of really know that if you can be happy like you have been through these situations how much happier could you be when it came to situations that are actually feeling really good for you okay so i feel like that's really just your your own spiritual team really trying to help you to keep yourself on the right path keep yourself defending your purpose because it's important that they know you actually want to defend it you know what i mean 
it's kind of like a mutual understanding when they see you doing things that prove that you really want to make a difference in your life they're going to do the things that they need to do to pull through for you as well okay that's what i feel so get a message from the universe with the mermaids and dolphins oracle for gemini a message from the universe we have explore your options it's time to look at other possibilities it's a good time to make changes and i kept seeing that seven of pentacles in the reverse which is a, a change of plan so explore your options when you're doing this on the bottom we have friendship make a date for a play day with one or more friends new people in your life i am gonna need a spirit of the wheel deck to see where this energy wants to lead us in that sense too we have the blue moon wolf energy mastery recognition evolution 28 this is a part of your revolution your evolution recognition the mastery of the things within your life the blue moon energy so maybe something about 28 to 82 years of age specifically 1982 is the year of the dog it's a libra's energy and uh 1928 is the year of the dragon so aries energy Maybe something about Libra season during Dragon Year, which will be after Virgo season. Six of Pentacles is on the bottom, so there is a new offering of something here too for you, Gemini. A few extra messages. They lead everywhere. Someone thinks you are being a fool. See, they all thought so. Work from home. Pour some sugar on me. Ooh, in the name of love by Death Leopard. And confirmation, collective has been praying, communicating to their angels and higher power. They received this message, so you gotta do your thing. 2121, yes, exactly. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, Gemini. You guys are fantastic and you are on the right path, so just keep going. I believe in you, and that's all that matters. You gotta just keep believing in yourself too. As much as you may not believe enough in yourself, I will believe the rest of it. So until you fully believe in yourself, you know that you got me. I got your back. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of the Vibe Shot Family community. I'm super grateful that God had, you know, crossed our paths. And if you ever need me, I'm here for all of you, all the time, anytime. So bye, guys.